This video will serve as a brief overview for the installation of the Apple TV and Customtronics jailbreak. Included in the kit you will receive a fourth generation Apple TV pre-wired with the black and red barrel connector and then the mini USB power supply for the RCA to HDMI converter. Coming out of the back of the Apple TV is those two wires and then the HDMI cable going into the converter. From the converter, the red, white, and yellow RCA connectors and then a switch for the red, white, and yellow connectors so that you can switch between video inputs. Please check out my previous video on the Customtronics front camera installation for removal of the front dash to gain access to the back of the 8.4 inch Uconnect. A very helpful video and walks through the removal completely. Uh, once the dash is removed, we can remove the head unit, gain access to the previously installed Customtronics harness, and continue installing the Apple TV. Once the head unit is removed, you'll be able to locate the accessible wires. There's the red and white audio cables and then the barrel jack and video input. Those are the wires we're going to be using. Um, we can either connect the switch to these wires or just connect the output from the HDMI to RCA converter. Once those connections are secure, we can connect the converter to the Apple TV, then kind of tuck away everything behind the head unit. Um, I would definitely suggest using Velcro so that the Apple TV and other connections do not slide around. Um, electrical tape on those connectors will help as well. For the switch, this panel will be replaced with the factory panel uh, below the steering wheel next to the driver's seat on the right hand side uh, gives it pretty quick access to switch between video inputs. Once the head unit is booted up you can go ahead and access the Apple TV from the rear camera auxiliary camera button then I'm going to begin setting up the Apple TV pairing to my phone and the Apple TV will be ready to use. Now the Apple TV is up and running and streaming YouTube. You can go ahead and replace the front dash and center console if equipped and that will conclude this installation. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and hope to see you in the next Customtronics installation video. For more information on Customtronics parts, please visit them on the web shop, and contact them at the link below. Thank you.